This is the Super Bowl of industrial hacking at the historic Fillmore Theater. This is Pwn to Own Miami in 2022, run by an organization called ZDI. Now, Pwn is slang for to own something, to hack it, so you have control of it. The theory behind Pwn to Own is that you hack something in order to win it or at least get some prize money. However, this contest is less about what you get to own and more about what you get to protect. We're talking your water, your power, your gas, the industrial machines that run your world. Guys, are you ready? ready, ready. Okay. Less than 20 seconds in, and there's trouble on the stage at Pwn to Own. Jerry, can you cut the mic? A hacking contest at the S4 Cybersecurity Conference in Miami. If you get very tense in the room, I mean, we do have $20,000 on the line. Stephen and Chris's hack on industrial equipment isn't working, and the team's trying to figure out why. It is a stressful time for all of the participants, making sure that what they've worked on over the last few months is still working. $20,000 is at stake just for this one hack, along with points toward the big prize, the Master of Pwn. Maybe it works at home, but, you know, now they're here, the, you know, the pieces are just a little bit different and that could absolutely play, play a role in who wins. Finally, the hack works. The team is able to put the paint program up on the screen as a sign that they're controlling the machine. Yeah. It turns out the delay wasn't Stephen and Chris's fault, but instead a computer licensing issue. I love hacking and, you know, this is one of the biggest hacking events in the world. Last time in 2020, Stephen and Chris, known as Team Insight, won the whole thing in a nail biter. This year, they're back for more. Do you think there's tough competition this time around? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there was tough competition last time, but this time is even more competition. Are you going to win? I, I, hold, I hold that in my heart, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Team Insight from San Francisco and Mexico City faces Team Computest from the Netherlands and Team Clarity from Israel, among others. We have been preparing for weeks uh, into the night, uh, no weekends. My wife is mad at me. <laughs> and so being able to demonstrate our hard work live on the stage is amazing. Clarity uh, is on the clock. But live on stage is proving difficult for Sharon and his teammates for this hack worth $20,000. They have 20 minutes total, but the time is ticking by. So they could come in and fail and not get anything, or they could come in and succeed and walk away with quite a bit of money. In the end, they succeed. Hey, look at that. With very little time remaining on the clock of their first attempt, they are able to get a successful demonstration. Their competitors, Team Computest, with Don and Tace, have to grind as well. They won a big contest last year, finding a security hole in the meeting platform Zoom, making headlines. How much time do you spend hacking? So this is our full-time job. We to run the research division. So basically we have all the time in the world to hack stuff we think serves the public interest. That's the most important part. We have the Computest team. From this one is worth twice as much as the others, $40,000. So let's go. The hack goes smoothly. I just said quickly. Putting them in the lead. If they were hackers for evil, they could have caused industrial-sized chaos. Let's see if you can turn the screen around for us. Yeah, we're both driven by passion, and we have a yeah, passion for security. So but sometimes when you're in the zone, you just forget the world around you, and then <laughs> with your headphones on, and suddenly you look in the, in the room, it's completely dark. <laughs> Getting some thumbs up here. Team Insight battles back with another hack. Once again, a nail biter. We need to restart the attempt. We need to restart the attempt. Precious minutes go by as they try to make it work. We're at two minutes for our second attempt. At last, success. Congratulations, they did it. So on their second attempt with no time to spare whatsoever. Yeah, relief. My heart is that was the hottest. Right now. That was our hottest entry. The final score, Team Clarity, is at $45,000. Team Insight works its way to $80,000, but Team Computest pushes by with 90000 In the end, we did win, but it was a close call, and it was very exciting, yeah, very tense for us, yeah. <laughs> Cost me a new heart, actually. <laughs> Don and Tace win the big prize, the money.
the trophy and the Miami-style white blazers on stage. They also know they're finding security holes before attackers can use them on real industrial equipment, in real power plants, water plants, and factories, causing damage or even death. Total awards of $400,000. Just like uh, Don Johnson. Which blows away the last conference, the, um, the contest we did this, which was $280,000, so almost double. We're not in it for the money. We're in it because we like doing this. Now you can always make more money somewhere else, but uh, we like just, it's a passion for us. So we just like doing it. We want to make the world a little bit safer. Yeah, one vulnerability at a time, but uh, yeah. <laughs> the hackers here are hacking for good to help the defenders. However, there are groups that will pay big bucks for these kinds of security holes, so they can use them not for defending, but for attacking and spying. One of the goals of this contest is to reward people who are hacking for good and encourage them to do more research so they can find the security holes before the bad guys do. In Miami, Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.